Hi, this is Toby and today I'll be showing you how to pollinate Euphorbia obesa and get seed. Now I know I've done this video before but I wasn't really happy with the quality of the video. Um, the structure was a bit bad and I want to re-record it just to make the instructions a bit more clear and show you the entire process. So I've got two Euphorbia obesas here. I've actually got two females and one male in my collection but I've only bought one of the females out because the other one is already setting seed and I'm still waiting for the seed to pop which I'll show you when I put these back. Whereas the female plant on this, I've already gotten the seed pod to pop and I've collected the seeds but it's starting to bloom again. So Euphorbia obesas are dioecious which means that there are separate male and female plants. Now a lot of plants you see usually have bisexual flowers which means that both the male and female parts are on the same flower. All Euphorbias have separate male and female flowers, but not all of them are dioecious. Some of them are monoecious, which means that you have separate male and female flowers, but they're on the same plant. But for Euphorbia obesa, they're on different plants, so they're dioecious. Now, to pollinate them, you just need to get the pollen from the male plant onto the female plant, and I'll show you how to recognize the difference between the two. Now, if your plant is not blooming, there's no way to tell whether it's a male or female. That's just the thing. So if you only have one plant and you want to buy another one, best to wait for it to flower to see if it's a male or a female so you know which one you need. Um, let's start with the female. So if we come up close, you can see the female flower has the stigma. You can see it's right there. It only has the stigma and once it's pollinated, it will become a fruit. Whereas the male plant, if I can just move it here, does not have a stigma instead. It's got the anthers, which kind of come in pairs like that on the end of the filaments. And these are the males. The anthers tend to fall off after a few days. You can see there's pollen everywhere. And the flowers don't last that long. Whereas the female flowers, I find that it stays open for a few days. So it gets a chance to get pollinated. Now, you could use a brush. You could use some other fancy things. What I actually like to do is using a pair of tweezers. Finding a somewhat fresh flower. Let's see if I can see, see if I can um, do this properly. I'm gonna just pull the anther off and try to hold it like this. I turn it around and what I do is I just rub that pollen onto the stigma like that. And that way you can pretty much guarantee pollination. Now, even though it's pollinated, it might not set seed because I find that once I do have a few seed pod sign to set, any more flowers that open that I try to pollinate, it just doesn't set anymore. So if you do already have some seed sign is set and you're not getting any more, that's probably why. If you want to be safe, you can do it again, but I think I've done that enough. And I'm going to put this back and show you what will happen. So here is that Euphorbia obesa. Let me just see if I can quickly remove this. Hopefully my seed pods don't pop now. Um, that's what the seeds look like when they get produced and start to ripen. It will turn a color but I'll show you that ripening as well it does take around a month or so for it to ripen it doesn't take too long but once it does start to ripen you're gonna have to put the bag on because when it pops the seeds can actually go quite a bit of distance from the plant and if you don't put the bag on you're not gonna be able to collect the seeds so you have to put the bag on I know there's another female flower over there um, I think I'll try and pollinate it today as well because the seeds don't look like they've popped and I could probably get away with removing the bag for a while and getting that pollinated but when the fruit on this develops I will show you what it looks like. So here's an update of the Euphorbia seed pod. Let's take a look at it. You can see it's just starting to set. The ovaries are swelling. These are very easy to set seed if you pollinate them and you can see I've got more flowers on the way. I think I've already pollinated the one on the left. The one on the right hasn't really opened yet so more seeds are going to get produced so here's an update of the euphorbia obesa you can see the seed pod is starting to form on both of them um, there's more flowers I'm still pollinating them more flowers are developing and again they're very easy to pollinate once they turn into this you know that you're gonna get seed and you kind of need to only put the bag on when the seed pods start to turn color. Last time I put it on a bit too early. It doesn't really affect the plant as long as you use a little little fine meshed bag that 
airflow can get through to the plant, whereas if you use a closed container, your plant will get killed inside because it will get too hot and it will die. But I'll show you what to do when the seed pods get a bit more ripe. Once the seed pod starts to change color like that, or like that over there, that's a good time to put the bag over it. And I will be doing that. So let me just put the bag over it. I'll show you what bag I'm using. Let me see if I can get it out of my pocket. Um, just a little, kind of like a mesh bag, I guess. It's aerated, the air can flow through it and the seeds won't escape. So I'm just gonna put this around the Euphorbia obesa. So here they are, the mesh bags. Um, I know there's a little bit of a hole there because this Euphorbia obesa is a bit big. Hopefully the seeds don't escape. I um, mean, you can see I haven't put it on very tightly. They will come off, but no need to tighten it. As long as your plant isn't in a windy place, you don't really need to make it really tight. You don't want to strangle the plant. And make sure you use something that the air can flow through it. If you use a paper bag or something where it's shaded, your plant will die inside. So when the seed pods pop, I'll show you what the seeds look like. So here's an update of the Euphorbia obesa. You can see the seed pod has popped. It did pop yesterday, but I just forgot to take the seeds out. Um, I'll see if any more pop. The other one looks like it could. And on that one, it hasn't popped open yet. So we'll see what happens. Here's another update of the Euphorbia obesa. That seed pod, oh, I think the one behind it, popped yesterday. So there should be six seeds in there. I'm going to quickly just harvest them by using some tweezers and just picking them up. The other one you can see, it hasn't popped yet, but it's about to. Um, so if I just take this off, be very careful. You can see all the seeds are there. I've got to pick them up. I have lost some in the soil before and I don't want that to happen. So you can see here are the seeds. I've got six of them. Well, let me just show you all six of them. Um, again, from two seed pods, we're going to wait for the rest to pop and I'll get more seeds. So here's a final update of the Euphorbia obesa. I've harvested all the seeds and they just continue to grow. I know it's autumn right now so they probably won't be doing too much growing in a few months. They still have only around probably I'd say one and a half months left of growing or so but I'll show you the seeds we harvested. So from the Euphorbia obesa on the right which I've labeled Euphorbia obesa 2. How many seeds do I have? Let me just do a quick count. I think I have nine in there. Yep I have nine and the one on the left, my older Euphorbia obesa, which is, you can see all the pods have popped open, all the seed pods. There should be 15 in here because three in each. And I'm just checking, yep, there should be 15. It's good. And again, these will just grow the flowers or the, what's remaining of the flowers will just fall off. Or the seed pods, I should say. You can see the debris is just everywhere. That's okay, it'll just decompose and it'll add nutrients back. but. Very, very happy with these plants. Again, the male one just keeps on flowering. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it was kind of a remake of the one I've uploaded before, but I wasn't really happy with that video. So I've just decided to redo the video. Again, this is very easy. Um, once your Euphorbia obesa matures, it can produce a lot more seed than what I'm getting from these two plants. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.